we got another one, boys. Tonight on Poser Police, we are going to be breaking down the content of Tamir Russo, aka known as GTA Boy. And if that doesn't sound like immediate cringe already, it gets worse. For those of you that don't know, Poser Police is a series where we look at influential car content creators and seeing if their content is up to standards or if they're just putting out just garbage ass videos to try to catch that bag. Now, trust me, I respect getting that bag. I'd rather you do this and sell drugs to kids. So nothing wrong with that, but we are allowed to have an opinion on it. And today we might have caught one of the biggest and cringiest car content creators out there. As always, don't go and send any hate to him because of this video. The whole point of this isn't to hate on anyone. If we're just analyzing his content off camera, he could be a great person. Who knows? Content doesn't always reflect that. We're simply looking at the content. Now, for those of you that don't know what cringy content is, it's pretty much content that makes you feel uncomfortable, either in the thought of how they recorded it or just how it makes you feel in general. You usually has to do with some sort of secondhand embarrassment. I also just spit on my camera or just awkward situations. And today, oh boy, you're going to feel uncomfortable. This guy goes around and role plays as a GTA character. And I know that sounds stupid. It is. This is pretty much the same people that go and like dress up and like anime stuff, except it's it's GTA stuff, sort of, you know, wearing a gas mask and riding around on a motorcycle or a spiky helmet with a bulletproof vest. Like, it's just like really cringy stuff that like appeals to 12 year olds that are still playing GTA on PS3s. I don't know about all that. All right, now I'm just going to show you what like 90% of his content looks like. Try not to cringe. Keep in mind, this is a grown ass dude. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Put this shit in slow motion, yeah. He has a few different styles of content, but his most common is literally nothing. It's pretty hard to explain, but it is it is pretty much him just doing nothing except riding around. And honestly, besides that, I have no idea what he does. Today, we're just going to be diving into his content and seeing if it's as bad as I think it is. Spoiler alert, it's worse. Anyways, let's start on his goblin vet page. So this guy has like four Instagrams, if not more, he probably has more. Um, he has a link tree right here. And this just immediately caught my attention. He has a donation tab, which I mean, I don't know why you would need donations if you're a social media guy, but help out a boy. I don't, I, I don't know, help him out, help out your boy. Did I just plug his donation thing? Whatever, no one's gonna donate. I'm just gonna say this. I recorded that one clip of me pulling up with a gas mask on and I felt the most embarrassed I've probably ever felt in my whole life. And I have farted in classrooms during silent reading on accident. Like I, I am, I've been there and never in my life have I ever been so uncomfortable riding a motorcycle with a gas mask on. This guy's out in public doing it. I mean, at least he's doing it for content, I guess. I don't know. Like at some point you just get comfortable with it. I just, I just, I even asked Brian, I said, Brian, can you please do this? Because I really don't want to. And he said, fuck no, I ain't doing that shit. So, I mean, I, I got to respect the man. He just does not give a shit. I just could imagine, like, this has to be awkward, right? Like, the camera guy has to feel a little cringy. He probably doesn't. I mean, at least that part's cool. I, I'll give him that. At least that part's cool. But it's, there's, there's, it's cringy. This is the same shit as LARPing. This is the same thing as dressing up as fucking Master Chief and going to Comic-Con. Like, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Oh, I think that's a lot cooler. I will say. I would, If I had a suit of Halo armor, I'd probably wear it every day. Not this shit, though. Not this. What would you guys do? You got 10 minutes to get to work. There's traffic right now. Which one you taking? <laughs> you already know the answer for me. Ooh, 
I mean, saying there's traffic, that, that's pretty fucking obvious. You're going to take the bike. That's just a dumb question. Which fucking one are you going to take? You got to cross a river. So are you taking the car or the boat? Taking the fucking boat. Well, the car could be a Dodge Challenger. In that case, you could get over the water anyways. Listen, Jimmy, you're not funny. I make the jokes around here. Like, I know I do some dumb shit. You know, I don't want to sit here and act like I obey all the traffic laws and stuff like that 24 seven. Like I try to, but I do like going to Mexico, you know, um, but I don't wheelie in oncoming traffic lane. I, I don't do that. I think that is pretty stupid. I think that 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 passes a line for me If I'm in the middle of nowhere and it's a two lane highway. I will line up and race in the middle of nowhere in Mexico, not in the fucking suburbs where someone could pull out of their goddamn driveway and you're you're done. That's pretty stupid. All right, let's watch another one. OK, let's read the plates. What do the plates say? Also, Lambo doors on a C8, bro. Just go buy a Lambo. OK, like, yeah, you look like you've got some decent money, man. Go buy a Lambo. It, it's, it's a GM Corvette. It's a Chevy. It's a Chevy. OK, well, let, let's read his plates, though. What's up with these like in your face wraps? I mean, it works, obviously. I just don't like that color scheme at all. You're weak. I got three cars that say otherwise. Just saying. <laughs> I will say he does dress like a GTA character, like straight up dressed like a GTA character. He's in Reeboks. My dad wears Reeboks to mow the lawn. What does tire lettering say? Stage two goblin vet. Stage two what? I'll bet 500 bucks there's no force induction on that goblin vet. And if you want to play around with a couple fun cars, I'm down. I'll bring out my 90s shit box. OK, I'll bring that one out first. Start with my slowest car besides my Civic. But that, that don't count. Let's see what else there is. What am I watching? Like, wh wh what even am I watching? From what I can grasp so far, half of his content is just him and one of his buddies just riding around in his vehicles and just recording it. And then him dressed like a GTA character, a cringy GTA character. Like this one's not so bad, but but putting on that, that's just, oh, that's kind of cringe. Does he have tire lettering on the motorcycle? Oh my God, it, it never ends with this guy. You can't even read it, it's so small. Like, well, what's, what's even the point? And also your back tire looks kind of flat, just saying. I've said just saying about a thousand times. I need to stop. All right, let's see what other content this guy has. I like how you heard the, uh, sorry to sorry to cut off this high adrenaline content right here, but I like how we heard the uh, camera guy say, all right, stop right there. Like he was telling the Corvette to stop. Let's play that back really quick. Like you could have put a hand signal. I don't know. I mean, maybe that way you don't hear it. Just seems pretty obvious. Like I wouldn't want to hear that if I'm making a really high quality clip like that, you know, it's the least you could do. It looked like he almost like stalled out the bike too. Like it kind of jolted right there. Uh, all right, we got to watch that again. Look right there. It kind of, it kind of bounced there. Kind of like, I don't know, maybe accidentally let out the clutch a little too hard or I don't know. It just didn't look, it didn't look that smooth. Just saying what it took five seconds to reshoot that. This one got 1.1 mil. Let's see what he did for this one. I mean, at least he did something interesting for like half a second. He like popped a wheelie once again and probably the, one of the worst fits I've ever seen. He's got like the McDonald's color combo right here. He got red gloves, red shoes and yellow pants like Ronald McDonald himself wouldn't wear that shit. There, there's some substance to this one, though, because at least he did something cool to a 12 year old. This is like their wet dream right here. You know, a bike and a car matching while the bike does a wheelie. You already know, like like 12 year olds eat this shit up. Makes sense that that one did fairly well. However, let's see why this one got 17 million views. I blown away. Congrats. That's a lot of views. Let's see. How much was it? How much was it? They gave it to me. So you're not going to tell me how much was it? I'll tell you how much it was. Probably like 20,000 over MSRV just because people are paying those dumb prices for a fucking Chevy Corvette. All right. So I have a feeling this one just went viral because of the audio. Because so there's, there's nothing going on here. Also, I just noticed he has Goblin Vet Stage 2 also on these tires. Different wrap, different time period. Don't know how far in the future this was. It's still Stage 2. You're changing wraps, but you're not like you're not upgrading your car anymore. Changing wraps isn't that hard, man. You just throw someone a thousand bucks and they'll do it. Maybe not a thousand bucks, not for a chrome wrap like that. But you know what I'm saying? This one looks like he's actually driving it. Let's see if he's a decent driver. Not doing anything. Why are you yelling? He didn't even do anything. He like got on it for like a second. Once again, wearing the cringiest thing ever, a fucking gas mask. You're, you're wearing a gas mask with your windows down. Not much logic there, I guess, unless you're trying to air out the car. I don't know. Let's see his hand placement. Hand placement is a little little sussy. That's not that's not 10 and three, buddy. At least he's wearing a seatbelt. He's not wearing a seatbelt. 
Come on, man. Is he really not wearing a seatbelt? It doesn't look like he was wearing a seatbelt. Bro's too cool to wear a seatbelt. Oh, he'll wear a gas mask, but he won't wear a seatbelt. Fuck that. <laughs> man finna crash his least vet with no seatbelt on. Straight up. Maybe the seatbelt is a little too rough on his nipples. I don't know. Makes him chafe a little bit, you know? As you know, coronavirus, 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 coronavirus has closed all the gyms. And I'm not gonna let that stop me this year. Let's go. Okay, yeah, that's... I couldn't even take that shit. I did not want to watch that. I will say, clearly it works in his favor. I mean, obviously he has an audience. I can't really call him stupid or anything like that because it's working. He knows what his audience wants to see, apparently. And at the end of the day, he probably knows he's making this for like kids anyway. So it doesn't really matter because like, again, there's there's not grown dudes sitting here waiting for the new Goblin Vet or Goblin Bike video to drop of seeing him rev his car for the thousandth time or bike. Wow, see, like I said, rev his car and I went like that. My brain is numb. Help me. I need medical assistance. The suspect is playing mental games with me. Anyways, you guys get what I'm saying, right? It clearly works for him. So whatever I have to say doesn't matter. Who are you? It doesn't matter who we are. Yeah, I don't think Watch Bane, uh, I don't think Bane is that scrawny. I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm ripped. Like clearly I've been missing the gym. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I'm just saying, if you're gonna play the part, play the part. He don't wear no Pumas. I don't think Bane is wearing no Pumas. Just saying. Put on the mask. Does Bane ride a motorcycle too? I don't think so. I, I, don't, I think the only thing that resembles Bane in this is they're both wearing a mask with a respirator on it. Like, I guess. Why does he walk like that? He walks like he just got back from a porn video. An all male porn video. No, hey, it's 2022. I'm just saying you're waddling a little bit. Let's just read a couple comments. I don't know. They're always funny. His caption says going to the gym. This one says while you're there, get a personality. Low key need a new workout plan. Can you make some? Hey, honestly, I need a workout plan too. like <laughs> drop the vid. This is what happens when you've had too many um, pee pees in your butt. Pay attention, kids. You guys don't ride a bike. You definitely need to read the plates on my car. If you guys don't ride a bike, you definitely need to read the plates on my car. Why not read the plates on your bike? What do your bike plates say? Oh, it's back to the year week stuff. Wouldn't that make sense on your bike then? Uh, whatever. Also, this sticker doesn't look straight. The G looks like it's hanging off. I'm just saying whoever put on that sticker, fucking Mr. Shaky Hands over here doesn't know how to fucking align that shit straight up. Dude, the comments are just flaming him up. Tamir is the douchiest wannabe on the web. No helmet and sneakers. That is stupid. Clown emojis. Clown emojis. Holy shit. Poser. Look at me. I'm cool. Bitch ass can't ride. That loose ass left shoestring. Damn, these people got fucking good ass eyes. I didn't even see that. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, dude, that I, I the Pumas, the Pumas are back. God damn it, man. Does, OK, I need to find a video where he's not wearing these goddamn Pumas. I'm going to go on a search. I will say he has to have some he has to have some thick skin or he just doesn't read comments because he gets so much hate. Fuck it. If it pays a bill, it pays the bills. Whatever. Anyways, guys, I think that's where we wrap up our case on Tamir Russo, a.k.a. GTA boy. At least his content does take some skill when it comes to the wheelies and stuff like that. But there is a huge cringe element to where where it, it just makes me feel uncomfortable trying to recreate a simple skin of his had me contemplating even making this video it was that bad i was so uncomfortable his content obviously works for him so i have no doubt in my mind he will keep doing him honestly he probably doesn't give a shit about what i have to say because it's, it's obviously working i'm just calling it how i see it let me know your guys's thoughts down below i need some opinions from the jury on this case is this one of the cringiest car content creators out there try saying that sentence fast or am i wrong let me know down below guys don't send any hate i'm not doing this to send hate to anyone anyways guys subscribe and until our next case i'll see you then